Hey everyone, it's Lainey. So today I want to talk about a new trend. Sorry, I'm wearing bangles. It's really loud. A new trend that's really popular. I feel like contouring kind of brought highlighting to the forefront of makeup and this big new trend. And now I think it's going even further to a really bold highlight. I feel like highlighting is important for people of all age ranges. Honestly, I think for mature skin, it can give you a really beautiful and youthful glow. But today I'm going to talk about bold highlights. You don't have to do this. You can keep it more natural. But this is just kind of fun, especially now that we're finally in the summer season. I have three different options here. One I've talked about before. It's the Smashbox LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color in... Hollywood and Highlight. This is a cream based product. The next one I'm going to talk about is my Cover FX Contour Palette which comes with a highlight right here in Moonlight. And then my, which the, sorry, the Cover FX is also a cream product. And then there is the Too Faced Contour Palette which has a pop of light, which is what this one here is called, in a powder. I personally prefer the cream products, but sometimes I will use a little powder over it to hold. My complaint with a powder highlight is it flakes off, it doesn't stay, and it can kind of get everywhere. So I would recommend if you want to use a powder product, start with a cream. I'm going to show you the difference in colors here. So right now I'm doing the blendable stick. I'm going to put quite a bit on my hand so you can really see it, blend it out just a little. This one, now I don't have a fancy camera here, so one second. This one, see, very, very natural. Just a nice shine to it. I should say sheen, it's not even a shine. Next one, the Cover FX highlight in the palette is really more of a thick and dewy highlight. And then the powder from Too Faced. My husband's pulling in. My dog's going to get excited. This one is very glittery. So here is the Smashbox stick, the Cover FX highlight, and the Too Faced powder. And it's hard to tell on camera but that Too Faced has quite a bit of glitter in it, which for me is more of a weekend look. Okay, I'm back. So my husband just walked in, so I quit filming because my dog got really excited. So let me just go over this one more time. Here is the Smashbox Highlight Stick, the Cover FX Moonlight in their Contour Palette, and then the Pop of Light in the Too Faced Contour Palette. I think that for... Um, if you're wanting to use the stick, it's perfect for doing the bridge of your nose, the corners of your eyes, the cupid's bow. I'm going to use all the products to show you some ideas. Okay, so this stick, sorry I have a mirror over here, is perfect for doing down your nose, getting in that tear duct area. And this is going to be um, a bold highlight. I mean, I'm not going to hold back, just so you guys can see how you can have fun with highlight. Under the brow, you can put just a little bit here. If you're super oily, I wouldn't recommend it. A little on the chin. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, and then just go in with your finger and blend it just a little bit. This one does give the appearance of a little bit of a dewy look. You'll see how the cover effects one though is super dewy. It really is. This just blend it out. Just soften it a little bit. That's the one thing about the um, stick products is you have to be careful that you don't see the line of where you pressed it on. chin and then I'm going to go back and keep it bow for sure 
right around here. That's going to give you a much fuller appearance to your lip. Once again, just soften it. There. All right, so that was the stick. And then if you go like this, just try to catch the light anywhere you've put that highlight to make sure it's just really well blended. Just want to soften it so you don't see those hard lines. Next I'm going to go in with the Cover Effects Moonlight. This one is really dewy. The light did just change outside. It's a little overcast, so hopefully you can still see that. Alright, this one I'm going to go in under the eye a little. You can see already that is a really strong highlight. This area right in here, from here to here, that little triangle, that is um, called the triangle of light. You want that area of your face to be really bright, whether it's using um, keeping your foundation a little lighter there, putting a little lighter powder, and then your highlight, and that's going to just totally brighten and open your face up. So I'm really going to blend this because it is super, super dewy, super, it's like a super sheen. So I'm going to go on top of that cheekbone then just blend it out. Some people like to say the dewy look is like the J-Lo. She always has the most beautiful highlights. Her skin is gorgeous. You can really see that shine when the light hits it. It's really pretty. Gonna get a little bit more. Go back on that cheekbone and then just start blending it out. Some people do the bold highlights every day. I mean, I'm headed into work after this and I'm not scared to wear it, but for some people this might be too much for their daily look. So maybe it's just your weekend thing or just every once in a while you just want to have a little fun. But I'm not scared to go out like this. But always wear makeup that makes you feel confident, that makes you feel beautiful. It's not about um, what other people think, at least for myself. I wear makeup because I think it's fun. I like the way it makes me feel. So always just do whatever makes you feel good. Don't worry about other people. Alright, that's blended out there and you can really see that shine when the light hits it. Okay, now let me grab the powder. I will say I wouldn't normally use this powder when I am oop, drop something when I'm headed to work because it does have a, a really glittery effect, which isn't my favorite for a highlight. I personally like um, the if I'm gonna do bold, I prefer the dewy look over the glittery look. But I want to show you guys the different options. So, just putting some of that pop of light from Too Faced on a brush. And I'm going to go in on top of my cheekbones and just pat it in. That will also help my cream highlight stay put. And then just not picking up more product, just what's left on the brush going under and in the corners of my eyes. Just again so that it doesn't melt all over my face, stays where I want it. Let me grab a mirror. I mean that just, it really is crazy how beautiful your skin looks after doing the highlight. This again is a bold highlight look. So do whatever makes you feel beautiful and I hope this helped you figure out what kind of highlight works for you. Thanks guys. Talk soon.